mesmerists looked up at the sky, and the sun shone down in greeting. They set forth on the road to the city. Whose voice was that back there? It sounded so lonely. Did she give me this power? But why me? So I'm just going to play until we get back to the city. Which is just after this trail home. My hands are shaking. We're finally on the last stretch. So it's not a bad looking game for um, the Wii. The frame rate's a bit low, but um, we can't really fault it for that. Oh yeah, this giant mystical tiger. What the hell is that? Look, there's still some keys here. <coughs> right, first we draw that thing away, then the kid's gonna escape. Okay. Yurik, leave off casting any magic until the kids are safe. I'll get the kids up there. Let's get this done. Forest Beast, level 8. Lure it towards you. So we got to use Gathering to lure it towards me. That's it, Zayn. So I've got a lure... Lure it with gathering yeah, and then basically guard. That's crazy lady. <laughs> crazy lady. She is a crazy lady. We're not doing much damage to it at the moment. I don't think this is one of those battles that we can win though. I can't remember. Maybe it is. Yeah, I think we just... We're not really being hurt by it. So one thing I remember from what I've played of this game previously is there are a lot of um, optional... Oh, I'm being savaged quite badly now. I need to get away. As I was saying, there's a lot of optional chapters. Um, that can be easily missed if you're not careful. So um, I might check out a fact and make, make sure. Oh, he's going to kill me. He has killed me. So you get five lives. I'm assuming it's five lives per battle. Or I'm not sure really, but. If you look, if you die five times, then it's game over, which can happen surprisingly fast if you're not careful. Oh, this thing's gonna murder me if I'm not careful. Have we got it? it's going to retreat. So 
So if you've still got a Wii or, or you bought a Wii U and you have any inclination to play this game for yourself then I would definitely recommend it. Um, if not and you're all just happy watching this to see what the game's all about then um, I'm grateful to have you along for the ride and uh, hope you enjoy this Let's Play. There are probably better ones on YouTube, um, let's be honest, but uh, I tried to be moderately entertaining. No, we're fine now. Thank you, great knights. Knights? No, we're just mercenaries working for Count Argonne. Mercenaries? Sorry, I, I hope you don't mind, but I'd best be going now. Excuse me. I think that's pretty much all there is to Chapter 2. Another flashback. Lost another one. Come on. We can't wait any longer. So Still, we're leaving. Come on. <coughs> so they were all part of some big battle in the past by the look of it. And one of them got killed. And they ended up in the capital doing um, jobs for Count Argonon. Which got them into that current situation. So we're back in the city now? Yeah. From what I've seen there's one major city that um, you get to explore. Oh this is still part of the flashback. So they found something So they fell on pretty hard times. Let's go. Here we are again. Guess they don't like mercenaries here either. So what else is new? Don't let it bother you. So let's move on merry old way onto Man, town. I am totally knackered. Get me to a bath. Just a bit further now. Good work, everyone. It's been a rough day. Zale, you're like a dead man <coughs> walking. Look lively, mate. Thanks for the advice. I'll bear it in mind. You did great today, Zael. You must be tired. You could say that. Why don't you go for a walk once we get to the city? Hmm. Oh, I can see the castle. Ah, we've at last we get to the title sequence. I think this is the main credits to the game. Yeah, and the music is by Nobuo Yamatsu, who um, did the first ten Final Fantasy games um, and many other games as well. So it's kind of a reunion of the um, team that um, made the very first Final Fantasy and worked on. Uh, as I say, up to ten, and then they split off and made their own company. So, once I get to a save point in the city, I'm going to call it a day for now. But. I will, won't leave it too long before 
recording some more. Um, as I said though, this takes a fair old while to upload <coughs> chapter 3 already. The early chapters are pretty brief. And you? Save the business talk for later. It's time to get smashed. It's true. You all did very good work today. Tomorrow's a day off. Rest up. Yes! Say all, have a few drinks with me. Just for an hour or seven. Same old Serene. You call this wrestling up? You'll want to talk. I will see you strolling back in at dawn. What can I say? I enjoy going for long walks and watching the sunrise. <laughs> So yeah, we get introduced to the other um, members of the party. Oh, Zael. Seems you had something of a hard time of it today. Are you alright? No serious wounds? I can't remember what her name is. Uh... I don't like it when you act as though nothing's wrong. It tends to make me worry even more. The times when you look the most sure of yourself are when I know you're about to do something reckless. She's the other magic user of the party. My mum used to tell me that as well. Oh, I'm sorry. That's really quite insensitive of me. It's okay. You've brought back some happy memories. What is her name? I can't talk to her again. Let's talk to Seren. She's always good for a laugh. Hey, Zale! Have a drink on me! <laughs> wow, Seren. This must be record time. <laughs> what, you think I'm drunk? Look, I'm as sober as whatever's normally sober. Anyway, get some alcohol in ya. I'm a bit lost here. Seren does appear to have become slightly incoherent. <laughs> Look, if you're not drinking, then I'll have to get another drink. What? Oh, Zale. While I was at the bar, you turned into a rather handsome chap. Why? What? Why? But I'll tell you something about handsome chaps, Zale. All right, being handsome's not enough for them. They're all shallow chaps, lying chaps, cheating chaps. And if they're handsome on top, I'm supposed to fall for him. Hmm, she seems a bit bitter about something. And I know one handsome chap who's all three. Oh, look! There he is. Hey, at least you admit I'm handsome. See what a horrible flirt he is. Don't you dare turn into that, Zale. Don't turn into a raging alcoholic like her, either. <laughs> I'm glad I have so many good role models. Mm -hmm. Let's talk to Dagrin. You're showing us all up, Dagrin. No, it's being paranoid. I've got to keep my sword in top shape. Can't relax otherwise. That doesn't make you paranoid. It does make you a bit of a worry ward. How long ago did we start up our band of mercenaries? You and me are the only ones still standing from back then. I'm going to get another flashback. I think this chapter is mainly just sort of um, character moments in the, in the pub. Hey, kid. You on your own? Some of the chapters don't involve battling at all. Come on. 
dancing on the edge of a knife. That's how we live our lives. I'm not gonna make you live like this forever, Zayon. I promise you. The first chance we get, we're moving up in the world. Mm. We've all lost a lot in the war. Things that were important to us. But we'll get them back. Yeah. You said something the day we decided to become mercenaries. We'll all be knights one day. You'll see. I've never forgotten those words. Me neither. And this job could be our break. Count Arganen is very ambitious. Rumor has it he's quietly building up an army, and I don't mean to quell the monsters. If we show him what we can do, that could be us he's recruiting. We'll do it. Yeah, we will. Hmm. Any thoughts? It's a mystery, but that must have been some kind of sacred place you stumbled on. Maybe the guardian angel of Lazarus Island is looking out for you. There's a guardian angel? Nope, I just made it up. But I do feel like our luck is changing. I hope so anyway. Where's the other chap? Let's go and talk to him. Hey, Lowell. Lowell, that's his name. It's true, you are the most beautiful woman I have ever laid eyes on. You've melted my battle-hardened heart. I feel like a new man. Would you like to order a drink? Just being near you fills me with light and magic and joy. I'll come back when you've decided what you want to drink. Hey! I... <laughs> Looks like that one will be a challenge. But I don't like a challenge. What do you think, Zale? My dad gave me some advice before he died. He said, son, if you see a beautiful woman, you have to flirt with her. It's rude not to. My granddad said so too. And the blacksmith next door. My dad didn't say that. Then it's a good thing I'm here. It's the golden rule of being a man. I never break it. Not ever. So, in short, you like flirting? I don't like it. I love it. It's a big responsibility, being a fine specimen of a man like myself. Wait, does this mean you've even tried flirting with Marania? Ah, oh, that's the name of the magic girl, Marania. Of course. It's just, she didn't even notice I was flirting. What about Seren? <laughs> well, I only like women. <laughs> That's a bit harsh. <clears throat> Watch it, Seren. Oh, I'm sorry. My hand must have slipped. But don't worry. Next time it'll find its mark. You can pack that in. 